Hello and welcome back. Today we will learn about SUMIF function. It helps you calculate sum of various items based on a condition. Example, if you want to calculate the total sales of hamburgers from a list of 100 line items, you can use SUMIF to easily do it. Watch this video till the end to learn how to use SUMIF and also learn some bonus steps and tricks. So let's get started. Let me take an example where I sell say 3 items every day that are fruits, vegetables and milk. Now let me tell you a way used by many people which is actually not the best way but you will get the same results. You type in front of fruits over here is equal to you go and see where are the fruits so this will be D2 plus you go again in front of fruits D5 plus and then you go to d7 d8 d8 plus d11 and you press enter so as you can see the result is 590 so you sold approximately not approximately in fact exactly 590 fruits in the first four days of the month of october so guys this is one way of doing it now imagine there were 365 days and 100 items not just 3 items would you still be using the same method i will wait for 5 seconds please leave in the comments below if you would use the same method or not well i guess you would have answered no so let's learn the easier and the right way of doing it use the formula sum if that is s u m sum the normal we use followed by f without any spaces here i have just typed it so that you can know the spelling and whenever you're using it you know excel is very intuitive if you write sum it will show you like is equal to sum it will show you all the options available you can select sum f right now we are discussing only sum f which is the basic version and not some ifs uh, which is with s which we will cover later in the courses and if you press tab here you can see the formula will come itself so to start using the formula let me come here i'm using the fruits only let's start with writing sum if and i press the tab key so that it takes sum if by itself now if you see again excel's help as it is very intuitive it says we have to first select the range followed by the criteria followed by the sum range so in this scenario my range is basically the column where i have listed all the items from which i want to select like fruits vegetables and so on so i will select from c1 until c13 press comma now it says what is the criteria criteria basically means what you are searching for so i will click on this fruits over here and I will press F4. I'm showing all these things using mouse right now so that it's more visual. But believe me, using keyboard and the keyboard shortcuts makes your work very easy and increases your efficiency. I've already made a course on 100 plus keyboard shortcuts. If you have not watched it, I will leave a link uh, above in the I and also in the description box below. Please take benefit from that. So, so now it says some range. In some range, I will select the same number of rows but this time I will select where I want the sum to be done from. So I will select from D1 until D13 and close the bracket, enter. Here you see the result is exactly the same. Now good thing is because now I'm using this formula and had there been 100 rows or 100 items and 365 days, it would have given me the same result. And if I wanted to change from fruits to let's say milk, all I had to do was type milk, press enter and here we see we get the same result. Now let's discuss some common mistakes that people make when using this formula. This is very important because if you don't know what mistakes are done, you will not be able to ensure that these mistakes are not done by you. So please watch this video till the end so that you don't do the mistakes which everyone does. So first, as discussed earlier, if the range size is different, or it starts in different row the answer will be incorrect let me demonstrate this in our example when we selected the range let me leave the header row so uh, what i will do is here i will select instead of c1 c2 so now i am selecting my data 
from C2 until C13 that is I'm excluding the header row and pressing enter now you see since my data range is from C2 to C13 and my sum range is from D1 until D13 I'm getting a different answer the reason is very simple what Excel does is it says from the top how many rows do I have to go down and add the variable and what is happening here is in case the word fruits is in the first cell or the first row in the range so what it will do is it will go and add the first row or the first cell in the sum range as well so here it will find sale the word sale in the first row in the sum range and it will not add that so similarly when it has made the mistake in the first calculation it will do the same thing going down and all your answers will be wrong so in case if i go and in this i change my sum row from d2 as well you will see the answer is correct now you know how important it is to ensure that your ranges are in the same rows and not vice versa otherwise the answer will be wrong the second most common mistake that people do in making is absolute that is they do not make the values absolute and what happens then is right now i just show you what happens when it is absolute and then i will show what happens if it is not absolute in this scenario let me just copy this from same thing and if this is absolute i come down control v you see it's the same value now what will happen is in case none of these are absolute so i'm just selecting all this pressing f4 two three times so that i remove the absolute press enter and now if i copy this formula you will see my answer is wrong reason being what it has done now is since i moved one cell down or one row down the entire referencing moved one cell down or one row down so now when it did search for the range it did not start at c2 or d2 in case of some range it moved one row down and it started at c3 going until c14 and so on so this is what happens if your values are not absolute that is the reason when i was showing you how to use the formula initially i went back and made the values absolute so guys please please ensure you make your ranges absolute otherwise the answer will be wrong and you will not be able to understand where you are going wrong if it is a very large data now the third part which normally people get wrong is the spellings yes if there is a spelling mistake or there is any even a single space included some if will consider it to be a different item and it will not do the summation so just to demonstrate I will copy this formula and over here if I write fruits it's giving me 590 but if I write fruit it will give me zero because for Excel the word fruit the singular word does not exist if I correct it it will give me the same thing and as I said even if I add a space I just added a space you can see it's saying that no fruits with a space does not exist so it will give me an error and it will show it me a zero value to avoid this you can always use the drop down list let me show you what this is if you come here see in the cell f3 you can see a small arrow which is being displayed here so this is a drop down list which i have already made and in case if you don't know how to use it i will leave a link for this also on the i above and in the description box below take advantage of this this is a very very important thing and i've already made a video for this some days back so in here you can see if i bring my mouse here and click it is showing me all the three items that are here so if i click vegetables the summation changes now it is 608 if i click milk again the summation changes to 589 and the good thing is if i want to type here let's say bread it will not let me enter the wrong thing and not only bread if instead of fruits if i want to enter just fruit and press enter again it will give me an error saying that this does not exist so this way i cannot make a mistake and 
the easiest way I find is using the drop down list and I will just show you in the other sheet I have created a master where I, have, I added the items and whatever item I want to add I can always use it here and when I use the drop down list I not only use this in the formula here but I can also use it in the items here in the column C so that even when you are entering you don't use wrong spellings or your input is restricted so that whenever you are entering or any other user is entering there is no mistake well guys i hope you would have now understood how to use sum if there is an advanced function sum ifs s u m i f s which we will cover some other day well for now i hope you have taken advantage from all the videos that i have published if not there are so many videos on excel and some other topics that i've already uploaded and published on my channel you can always take benefit of those videos and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please go down click on the red button also click on the bell icon so that whenever i post a new course you get the notification for the same in case if there is a query you can always contact me by sending me an email leaving a comment below in the comment box or contacting me on facebook insta or any other social media i will leave my email id in the description box below also i will leave the links for a couple of other videos which i think will be useful for you and you can always come back to my channel and take advantage of that thanks a lot guys for watching the video till now thank you take care bye bye